What's up guys, it is your boy Bernardo from the BTN HD and if this is your first time checking me out, make sure to hit that subscribe button and get the latest and greatest on Lenovo products. Uh, so this week we are checking out Lenovo's Flex 6 11 inch laptop. So let's get started with our unboxing slash first impressions. So what's inside the Flex 6 11 inch box? Uh, so you have your safety and warranty guide. Uh, you have one checklist. You have your power adapter, which is a 65 watt. And you have your power cord. I'm gonna hook this guy up real quick. And that's it, done. And then we have the beautiful Flex 6 11 inch uh, laptop. Super small. Wow, cool, 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 cool. Now looking around the laptop, it looks like there's uh, a good amount of ports. Now if you have the laptop facing you to the point that you're able to open the lid up like this, on your right hand side we have our power button, we have one Type-C USB port, we have one 3.0 USB port which is always on, and an HDMI port. On the other side, we have our combo audio jack which allows us to hook up our headphones slash mic an SD card reader, and we have one 2.0 USB, and right next to that we have our power uh, port, which allows us to hook up our power adapter to juice it up. All right, so let's open up the Flex 6 11 inch. Let's open this guy up and see how it looks inside. Oh man, wow, beautiful. I love that space gray color. Ah, I'm liking it, I'm liking it a lot, cool. Oh, I'm like I like the feel of the keys. Beautiful, really loving the keys, the feel. Trackpad is not really huge. It's a nice, beautiful size. It looks like they added that nice little dash right there to tell you the difference between left and right. Uh, the display size itself is a 11.6 inches HD, not full HD. Uh, the resolution is 1366 by 768. Lenovo is stating that it's anti-glare. I don't really see anti-glare on this at all. Uh, it does have a webcam, which is 720p. Cool. So let's power this guy on. Let's press that power button. The power button is located on the right-hand side. Once it boots up, we're going to look at the task manager and see what kind of specifications that the Flex 6 11-inch has. Okay, so it looks like it's fully booted into the desktop. Uh, I want to click on the notification. So far, not really loving the trackpad, but I got I to gotta test that out a little bit more for you guys. Let's go to all settings, and within find a setting, let's go to about, about your PC. Uh, again, it is multi-touch, great, and it is running a Windows 10 Home Edition version 1803, which is the latest build, very cool, and let's right click on the task bar and go to task manager and look at the specifications. Uh, we're going to open this up a little bit, and we're going to go to more details, go to performance, and then open it up. So I'm going to right click on the processor, change the graph to logical processors, and it looks like it's running two core processor, an Intel Celeron N4000 CPU with a clock speed of 1.10 gigahertz. Now with that particular processor power, it looks like this is classified in my eyes like a netbook. All right, It's one of those things that you're going to travel with on the fly, you need something extremely light. Uh, the weight of it is around 2.75 pounds, so it is really, really light. Uh, to me, it's really light. Uh, from memory, it has 1.8 gigs, total of 2 gigs of memory. Now, the memory is on board, on the motherboard, so that means you can't upgrade it. It's hard, you know, it's in there. Oh, that sucks, so you're stuck with 2 gigs. Uh, for hard drive space, uh, you're running a SanDisk DF. 4064. That is a uh, a flash memory on board storage device. And the capacity of that, let's see the capacity. Let's go to this PC. 56.9. So it looks like it's 64 gigs of flash memory. Holy moly. That is really low. This guy reminds me of the IdeaPad 120 or the 120S. 
So this is like a huge upgrade. Uh, for graphics, it looks like it has the Ultra HD Graphics 600 series. Now within Intel settings, it's by default the resolution is 1366 by 768. But I want to see how it looks with a 1280 by 720, 720p. Let's apply the changes and see how it looks kind of stretched out. Does not look right for me. That kind of sucks. So let's go back to the original 1366 by 768 and apply that. All right, it looks a little better. We're going to keep it like that. Awesome. All right, guys. So that's my unboxing of the Flex 6 11 inch. How about my first impressions? Uh, I love the keyboard. I love the way it feels on my fingertips. That's a huge plus for me. Uh, the trackpad is small, but it looks decent. Huge competitor from the netbook lineup. Uh, it does remind me a lot of the IdeaPad 120 and the 120S because of the specifications. The only difference is it has a huge bump up on the processor. This particular machine is running the Celeron N4000 with a clock speed of, I believe, 1.6. Let me see if I right click on the task manager. And let's go back into performance and CPU. See, 1.10 gigahertz is the clock speed for this particular machine. It does have a high-end Ultra HD graphics card, 600, uh, which is okay because the resolution is only 1366, 768, which is a little higher than 720. Uh, it does have a webcam. Uh, it does have the features of the yoga lineup. It's called the Flex because you're able to do this. So that's awesome too. So that's cool. Uh, I do recommend having a rag in handy because uh, it will get dirty a lot with all the fingerprints. It is multi-touch. I, I don't see myself using multi-touch a lot with these laptops, but when I'm doing the review, I have to test it out for you guys. Um, I don't know. I'm expecting a lot of good things on the battery because it's such small little battery and it has a little weight. I mean, it's a traveling laptop that you're able to travel with with no problem. Uh, I think I said around 2.75 pounds, which is not that bad. It's pretty decent. Has speakers at the bottom. That's where the speakers are located. That's a cool, 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 cool. Uh, it has enough ports to get you up and running. It doesn't have an RJ45, which is okay, but it does have a SD card reader. Uh, this is great for individuals that are traveling, like photographers that they need to edit or maybe check photos on the fly. I don't really know if you're able to edit using Photoshop or Illustrator, but I will test that stuff out for you guys. Uh, I did notice the boot time is a little bit, it's a little slow. You are, you, you know, you're running a 64 gig flash, uh, flash memory on board. It's not like a solid state drive, so it's a little slow. Uh, you have to pay attention to the storage size as well when it comes down to installing stuff and doing Windows updates because eventually your C drive is going to get red real quick. With 64 gigs, you don't have a lot of room to do a lot on this machine. Overall, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the unboxing slash first impressions of Lenovo's Flex 6 11-inch. If you have any questions or comments, leave them right below, and i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.